In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the panel drop downs here. We call this area the market panel. So I'm going to show you how to get all this content into your market panel. So in the dashboard, go to appearance widgets. The way this const is constructed is that this whole section is actually a widget area and each one of these is a widget. So the title plus all this content is one widget. And we did that because there's a lot of content in here and it turns out this is the easiest way to let you edit it all. So if we go to uh, appearance widgets, you can see all of these instances are outputting everything. And we can go ahead and add another widget. So you're gonna look for a widget called market panel and you're gonna wanna add that in. Every instance of the market panel widget is gonna produce one of these. So let's title it clothing and we're gonna check everything related to clothing here. Let's just say that, we'll have kids and baby and clothing accessories. So top parent categories are going to display here and then their subcategories will display here. And let's just do that for now. So now we've got this displaying, pretty cool. And then you'll notice that some of them have a, this all and they also have um, some products showing. So we can check to show the view all links. And then we can also display our, our featured products. So it's gonna be pulling them from a category. So we can say we want one from clothing and accessories and we'll take the second image from girls clothing. And then how do we want to display these products? Do we wanna display the newest product from these categories or do we want to display, to display the most popular product based on ratings? So let's just go with newest and save that. And now you can see we've got a link to view everything here and then we've got the latest products from these two categories and it says latest products and we could change that to be most popular and then now it's showing the most popular products.